Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Lefdactic. This is the first part of a three-part series on uh, rapid prototyping with Ionic 2 and Node.js. And in this first part, we will develop a very simple Node.js server. Let's dive in and create a new npm server. If you run npm in it, you will get asked some questions. Most of them you can simply skip with return. But for the entry point, let's define the server.js file. And the rest can simply stay as it is currently. Okay, so this will only create a very simple package JSON with some information. Additionally, um, to create a little API, we need to install some npm package. I just copy them in here. So we have Morgan Cause, Express, Error Handler, Mongoose, Body Parser, and Helmet. Um, all of these do some useful stuff for our server. Um, maybe the most interesting is Mongoose, because we will use a MongoDB for our database. And if you have installed MongoDB, you can simply run this command from your command line, and this will start the database server. Um, if you have not installed, simply Google MongoDB install or whatever. Um, it's quite simple and very easy to install. So let's dive into our code. We need some additional files. First of all, we need a config JSON. We can already um, paste in everything we need here because it's very simple. We just want to define the connection to our database here which is currently um, at localhost, and my one is called devdactic rapid backend. Um, if this is not existing, I think it will automatically be created. Um, additionally, we need some more files. Uh, I will tell you in detail what all of those are doing in a second. Um, and we need the to-do roots JS. All right, first of all, um, to connect to a MongoDB, we need to define a database scheme. And this is, well, quite simple. Um, we want to have a to-do inside our database, which will have a text, which obviously should be required. And also we put in a created date because, well, why not? Um, for this created date, we also use this pre-save uh, function in which we will get the current date. And if there is no date set for the current to-do, um, we will simply set the date now. So every time we save a new to-do, this will run, check if we have a created add date, and if not, add the date. Finally, we need to export our model and call it to-do. And this is the one we can import in other files later on. So this is our to-do JS. It's already finished. Um, let's go to our roots. And finally, we will build the server with the roots. So first of all, we need to get um, the express server. And then we need to get the app so we can define the roots for our app. Um, so this is our app. And finally, as I said before, we need to import the to do we just uh, created. So we simply require our to do file. We don't have to type JS, it will be automatically added. Let's start with a very simple get method and this get method will get all of our to do's inside the database. Okay. And it will be available at the root slash to do's. So what we need to do is now we use our database model from MongoDB and we use the find method. And as we simply want to find all to do's, we can pass an empty object. And for the completion, um, we will have error and hopefully our to do's. So 
in case we have an error, um, no, make it a bit like this. Uh, in case we have an error, we need to return uh, some kind of error. And you could make it through the status code. So define whatever 404, 401. No, that would be not authenticated. Well, maybe 404. But um, in general, you could also define your own object and say success plus false and then pass a message so everyone knows what's going on and you can simply use this method, uh, this message inside your front end later on. Makes it easy. So uh, error while, I don't know, reading a while. Now let's say retrieving to do's. Um, and if you want it more specific, you could also say, um, or also pass the complete error to the front end. You never know if you need it or not. But otherwise we have found some to do's and in that case, we will send 200 with an object in which we can now say success true. So we can always check this success variable inside our front end. And also we have a result, which is to do's. We could also return just an empty result array up here uh, and don't display any errors, but well, this is completely up to you. Okay, so this is a simple get root. The next one I'm gonna post in because it's more or less the same, but this time it's a post. So this is to create a new to-do. And first of all, we need to check if we have sent a text for the to-do inside the body. If this is not the case, again, we return success false. Otherwise, we can create a new to-do using our to-do schema and the text will be just the text. And we call save on this uh, object, which will insert it into our MongoDB. And if we have an error at that stage, well, again, we need to return that. Otherwise, we can return 201, which is the code for created. Um, with a success and a message, we can display to our user. And finally, the, the third one we need, we can get, we can post, we can also delete. Um, but in that case, we also need to pass an ID. We could also have it in the body, but uh, I think it's better this way. Um, we can grab it through the params. Okay, so you can see this time we use the body up here. And now we, if we have this syntax, we need to use params. So if we have no election ID or it is empty, again, we can't delete it and there's an error. Otherwise, we again use our to-do schema and we can use the function find by ID and remove and the ID is the one we got inside our request. If we got an error, we return it. Otherwise, we can simply return 200 um, and return a success. So this is how you define roots inside your simple Node.js server. Um, there's one last part missing and this is the server.js. So we already have all of these um, uh, roots defined, we have our model defined, but we actually need to start our server. So I'm just gonna copy it because it's very long up here. Um, we require a lot of the things we have installed previously and we also have our config. Um, we have the server, the app. Um, Helmet is used for some protection. We use a body parser. We use cores um, because we will otherwise might run into cross origin problems using our Ionic front end. Um, we define a port and What's also important is our mongoose connection to our database. And here we have the config.database variable, which we have defined inside the config JSON. So everything is pretty clean uh, and good structured. Finally, we tell our app to use the to-do routes 
um, for the roots. So to use all of the delete, post and get stuff we have defined here. And finally, we simply start the server. So now we're ready and can simply call um, maybe npm install before. I don't know if we have already installed. Okay. So now we can call npm start and the app is listening on 3001. 3001. Um, how can we test it? I recommend you use Postman. You can also do it from your command line. Um, so we have get all to do's which is a simple get request to this port. Um, we get a success, but we actually don't have a result yet. So let's create a to-do. Um, yeah, we can call it my first to-do. Um, it should have the content type application JSON and it should be a post. And success will create a new to-do. Let's see if it actually appears. And yes, there's our first to-do. Um, let's create a second to-do. And you see, you get a list of all the to-dos. Now, if we want to delete the to-do, we need to use this automatically created ID from MongoDB. We go to delete, and as our root was, it was to-dos and the ID. Um, actually, we don't need anything inside the body, I think. Um, okay, and we get a success to-do deleted. It was the first one, remember? Um, and now we only get the second to do. What's also interesting or what I like to do is uh, using RoboMongo. Um, uh, let's see. Um, where is it? Ah, come on. Mm, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there it is. It's better. Now we can actually see um, our collections and see all the objects we have created. So uh, let's call it third to do. And if you update the database now, you have an inspector to see all the uh, items inside your MongoDB. So this is very handy when testing your REST API and using MongoDB. So we have two ways of testing one, uh, directly seeing the database or to simply using our requests we have defined. Okay, so that's already everything you need to create a very simple Node.js REST API. And in the second part of this series, I will show you how to build a Ionic 2 app, which can then interact with this server. And in the final third part, we're gonna hook up everything to a well, testing or live environment because currently, obviously, the server is only running on localhost, but we want to run it somewhere where everyone can access it. And this will be subject of the third video. So stay connected, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for listening and viewing, and have a great day. Goodbye.